All right, Leos, welcome to your January shadow work reading. This is going to be for January 2022. Um, this is focusing on sun, moon, and rising. So this is going to be your shadow work reading, things that you're going to need to work on for the month of January with your shadow work. Before we get started, just to remind everybody, I am having a special that ends on January 1st um, for 22% off all of my services with the code 2022. Uh, Patreon members get 30% off. The code will be in the dashboard for those who are Patreon members. Uh, so definitely make sure you take advantage of that um, before it expires. Uh, Patreon members, my uh, the Patreon coupon expires on my birthday. For the regular coupon, it expires on January 1st. So definitely take advantage of it while you can if you need that new year reading. Okay, so let's see Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is going on with your shadow work for January? January 2022, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on for Leos? Leos. Okay, <laughs> Leos. Leos, Sun, Moon, and Okay, hold on. That was a lot of cards. We're just going to get one more. One more card, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on with Leos? For Wait, no. Just one more. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Leos. What's going on for Leos? Sun, Moon, and Rising. There's one more card. You guys want to talk a lot. That's what I see. You guys want to talk a lot. A lot. Okay. 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 So, I mean, this is a very clear message. Bottom of the deck, you have the Hermit, the um, Page of Pentacles, and the Temperance card. <laughs> so, honestly, your message is really, really clear. It's really bold. Um... <laughs> There's something that you want that you've been very, very certain of that you're going to um, see a huge transformation in. Um, you're definitely feeling yourself like in the beginning. You're, you're feeling like you in the beginning of the year, um, you, especially in the beginning of January. Um, you're feeling a little bit more bold. You're feeling a little bit more energized. You're feeling like there's a lot that you can do. There's a lot of possibilities for the year. Um, shadow work wise, you are working still through your ego. Uh, specifically the things that you wanted that kind of fell through, especially through the uh, last couple of months of 2021. That's where this is coming in. Scorpio season, you're still facing a lot of the transitional energies, um, a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the things that happened during Scorpio season, a lot of things that popped off that created conflict or chaos, you're still kind of navigating your way through that, regaining your strength, recalling your power, um, and getting clear on what it is that you learned, what you what how what you're taking from the situation, what you're going to, how you're going to move forward, how you are going to ultimately. Um, transform through this time there's this energy of like a little bit of unfinished business especially with relationships you're a little bit more sure of what you want and how to go about it this is giving real scorpio energy um so there's definitely a sensual like uh tone to this reading as well i feel like you're very if, you, if this has to do with relationships you are very sure of what you want and whom you want and who you're attracted to there's a lot of passion involved um you are you're like in a position where you're ready to give your all you're ready to pour your heart out pour your flame your your that heat in into that or that situation or that person that you really really care about you're not like cloudy anymore you're not feeling um I feel like your mental health is also in a, in a better place uh, for the month of January and you're feeling a lot more clear and centered and you're ready to take that next step. That, that death card really signifying, sorry for the, the beeping, uh, that death card really signifying this transition that started in Scorpio season for you. This death and transformation to your ego that started in Scorpio season that you had to accept the lessons that you had to accept to get to this point where you're now very, very clear and it's it's clear as day. It's like you're not beating yourself up about the situation anymore. It's like, no, I know what I want. I know what I need to do about it. I know what it is that like how I'm gonna give my energy to like I know I know what I need to do it's a very certain kind of energy it's almost like 
it's playing in my head like a movie like that the scenes in the movie where the the main character finally knows what it needs to do and it starts running in the direction and it starts reaching that climax of the of the film um where it's like the that character knows exactly how it how to de you know like where the bomb is and how to take it apart like the character knows that it needs to run back to the lover and like express how they feel because they're very clear on how they feel now it's very it's giving that like you guys are moving in a state of transformation and clarity um your ancestors are also actively working to help you regain your strength and your power during this specific month um and you're gonna see a lot of activity when it comes to your messages from your ancestors as well so let's see additional messages for leo for sun moon and rising for january january 2022 for the shadow work one more card the leo sun moon and rising what do they need to know hold on what do they need to know for their shadow work leo sun okay we're gonna take those three that's fine okay so you have be strong but gentle okay transition and change and control and discern there's definitely a lot going on with that specifically um with the control and discern because there is that energy that scorpio um energy scorpio's rule manipulation pluto rules manipulation so there is that energy of wanting things to be controlled like so if you're gonna plan out on having a conversation or sitting down and talking to somebody about how you feel and like you know healing or getting clear on the situation you're you know what you're gonna say you know what you're gonna say you you've already balanced out how you feel about it you know what you're gonna say and you're bringing healing into the situation you're actually trying to make the best out of the situation there is a transition and change happening okay and it comes from your discernment you need to be very strong very gentle very smooth maintaining your strength maintaining your power but also working on your self-care this month that's gonna keep your energy flows in a good place if you are having any dips in mood focus on your self-care before you act on anything else focus on you first then react to what's going on you need to be very very controlled during this time and put yourself first until you know that it's time to put a situation forward or a person forward for that moment whatever that moment needs like it's it's a time for you to um go with the flow but you're definitely going through a, a big transition that literally started in scorpio season that is like it feels very long overdue it feels like you've needed to process this and, and it's like this was the right time this was the right time for you to get clear on um it, get clear on everything it was the right time for you to clear up the, the the issues and actually do what it is that you wanted to do about the situation in the first place okay leo sun moon rising for january 2022 for the collective shadow work what does leo sun moon, sun moon and rising need to know january 2022 sun moon and rising for your shadow work you guys <laughs> y'all i know i'm a leo rising but i'm just gonna say it we're we annoying i knew that was gonna happen too like i was like watch the leo watch a leo moon card come out it's just oh wow anyway new moon and leo confidence is key to your success and this is what i'm trying to say you guys need to literally just make the beginning of the year you need to maintain your strength and then throughout the, the, the entire month you need to maintain your strength you need to maintain your energies make sure you're sleeping make sure you're hydrating make sure you are practicing self-care um be strong but gentle okay but you need to make sure that you are confident in that in what you know to be true and what you're clear on and what the transition that you're going through um make sure you're clear on it make sure you are um amplifying and and being very very purposeful and meaningful with your discernment and how you are communicating what it is that you want moving forward there's a there's like a very very like no i know what i want i know what we're doing this is it period done and bye like it's a very very clear energy for you guys um, for January it's like you guys are moving through control and because Capricorn is also very obviously ruled by Saturn so we, we we're connected to the energy of restriction and control it is in our nature to be controlling as well just as Scorpio is manipulative Capricorns are controlling we, we are we are two cloths from this cut off from the same thing okay so what you the best thing that you can do right now is set yourself up for success by maintaining your own energy your own self-care your own self-love maintaining that so that way you can move forward in a, in a way that like 
it's natural it's natural it feels seamless you're not confused it doesn't feel like it's all over the place it's like no it's natural this is a natural transition i've been going through this for a couple months now and i see i see how why i need to do it the way i'm doing it right now leo sun moon and rising we got wishing well okay wishing well this really speaks to the fact that you guys are in a place where and look bottom of the deck intention um when it comes to wishing well it really comes down to your intentions overall and i think because you're starting off the year being very clear-headed about what it is like where you're at with the situation um and where you're at with your circumstance that you're feeling a lot more clear-headed you're feeling like oh you know I, I i don't necessarily i'm not stuck in a rut right now i feel like i just need to get myself together and once i like set those intentions set that wish it's just gonna flow in it doesn't have a choice but to flow in I, so I'm going to make that come into fruition in that way. So there's a very clear um, opening to the things that you desire just coming in. Um, and it, they've been slowly in the works for the past couple of months. That's the beauty of it, that you've almost, it's been like a setup for you to get to this point. But there are certain things, if you've been wishing for things to be alleviated, for things to be changed or shifted, for the energy to just kind of like... Um, not be so tense or for the situation to just change in some capacity you're gonna have a little bit more control in january and you're gonna be able to actually see your intentions your prayers coming into life in a situation breathing life in a situation where things have been a little bit stuck but you do have to control your composure you have to control your energies and you have to make sure that you are speaking from the heart and that you're being yourself at the end of the day it really starts with it starts and it ends with you being yourself at your core be honest be clear and be purposeful give that fire that you guys hold so so close to your hearts that you love sharing with everybody else you need to do that now especially if you're passionate about something or someone you need to show that now it, it needs to be seen you need to put in the work of showing that now it, it can't be hidden it can't be in your head you can't just be like saying things and then not acting on it you have to do the thing you have to act the thing you have to if you say it make sure you mean it by doing the thing put in action towards what it is that you're saying or else you're just kind of like empty promises kind of thing okay mudra for leo sun moon and rising for the month of january for the shadow work mudra for leo middle body breathing okay you guys got greater openness and my breathing allows me to live with an enthusiasm and vitality okay which is actively connected to your son's energy that ego energy that vitality that rest um energy that's actively connected to that so it's super super important for you to um connect to your breath connect to your thoughts you're already going to be very clear on what it is that you want it's just about executing it it's about you know allowing things to play all, like play the, the way that they need to play off at this point and letting things just let things unfold but play your role okay if you think of it as you're like on broadway okay and you are you're pay, playing a character and you it's your turn to come up into the stage and do your thing you know you can't just rehearse the lines and be like yeah i'm part of this play but never go on stage it's time for you to go on stage it's time for you to say you know okay i i've been i've been re rehearsing and doing all these things and saying all these things let me put Th these the time and investments that i put into saying all of these things that i've said um and saying that i care or saying that i that i mean and all of these kind of things that let me put into action let me put my words into action now let me show that this is what i care about now okay um this is the back of the card for those who are going to want to pause and read or take a screenshot for later it just explains what it's helpful for etc etc um so definitely make sure you're using this mudra in your meditations um and get clear just get clear-headed and make sure you're practicing self-care i feel like ultimately you guys are, will be fine um leo you guys naturally just seek pleasure naturally so i know that you guys will ultimately be fine but just, just be strong but gentle just be strong but gentle okay um so yeah i hope that you guys got all the messages that you needed don't forget if you need a reading uh to use the code 2022 for uh 20 percent 22 percent off all of my services until january 1st uh so definitely make sure you take advantage of the discount um the link to my website will be down below and yeah thank you guys for all the love all the support um thank you to the patreon members as well and i will see you loves in the next video Bye.